Back in our Paleolithic time and where we need to be, it's closer to a one-to-one -one ratio. And the effects of this bad choice can be completely devastating. When you think you know what you're doing, you're actually probably just a beginner. Unfortunately, no one can be told what omega-3s are. You have to taste them for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the beige pill. You stay plant-based with flaxseed. But you only get ALA, so you risk not converting it to EPA DHA. You take the yellow pill, fish oil. You get DHA and EPA guaranteed. And we stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering you is the truth, nothing more. Screw it, I'll take them both. <laughs> huh? One of the biggest mistakes that I see with busy leaders when they try dieting and living a healthier lifestyle is that they may start counting things like their macros or their calories, but they really neglect the quality of their food and things like their omega-3, omega-6 ratio. Now in the short term, compared to the standard American diet, they may start feeling better, looking a little better, losing some weight, but in the long term, deficiencies like this can not only affect your health, but have a significant impact on your mood, your attitude, and lead to things like depression. So for example, when it comes to the omega-6 to omega-3 healthy fatty acid ratio, most people with the standard American diet are anywhere from an 11 to 1 ratio, all the way up to a 25 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid. Now, back in our Paleolithic time and where we need to be, it's closer to a one-to-one -one ratio or even up to a one-to-three ratio. And the effects of this bad choice can be completely devastating. You see, now society's starting to understand that dietary fat is not the devil and things like your brain are made up primarily of fat. You know, I wish back when I was a kid and all my bullies would call me fathead that I understood all this stuff and I would have actually taken it as a compliment. You see, back when I was a competitive bodybuilder, we were Put on these caloric restrictive chicken broccoli vegetable diets and one thing that i noticed besides just being hungry i was hangry and i noticed a lot of these competitive athletes are really hangry and that's kind of the combination of being hungry and angry when i started to become a clinical nutritionist and studying omega-3 fatty acids i was shocked to see that the omega-3s have a huge impact on both anxiety and depression in fact, in some research studies, one of the biggest benefits of omega-3s is that heavy dosing of omega-3s have been shown to be as beneficial as Prozac in combating depression. So for me, when I went through a pretty rough patch, what you consider rock bottom in my life, I took really heavy doses of omega-3s and it worked wonders. Huge for busy leaders is that omega-3s have been shown to affect your inability to pay attention and your inability to complete tasks. They also decrease hyperactivity, restlessness, anxiety and aggression all of those things are huge things that can lead to a downfall as a business leader omega-3s have also been shown to reduce belly fat and combat metabolic syndrome lowering insulin levels and having a phenomenal effect on lowering inflammation lastly omega-3s have been shown to increase your melatonin levels which can help you fall asleep better now if you're doing the vegan version what you'll notice is that most of those omega-3 sources are ALA like walnuts, chia, flax, Brussels sprouts, all are high in ALA which can convert into DHA and EPA. There are a few sources that are direct DHA EPA which are a lot of the sea vegetables and things like spirulina. So bottom line that's why I took both pills. It's good to have a variety of sources. You don't need to just go all in on one. Make sure you're getting tons of omega-3s from a variety of sources and at the end of the day enjoy the food you eat. That's what's essential. Make sure you join our free group 
called the Fit CEO Network on Facebook. And also like, comment, and share this video because let's face it, if I made you laugh even a little bit, gave you a little bit of education, it's worth making your friends smile a little bit too. You start getting big issues of inflammation, you start gaining weight, and you lose your focus and mental clarity and start getting into things like poor decision making, which is the last place you wanna be as a busy leader.